Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a good old-fashioned declutter. Um, this is part one of a many-part series that I'm going to be doing where I'm going through my entire makeup collection and decluttering because nobody should ever have this much. Um, today is obviously going to be foundations. So let's just get started right away. Um, the first thing I like to do with my declutters is pick out the things that I know for sure right off the bat that I want to get rid of. Um, so we are actually going to reach right up here. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Uh, mine's in the shade Shell Ivory. I have tried to love this many times. I know that this is a very popular, uh, you know, affordable foundation here on YouTube, and it's talked about quite a bit. I just don't like the finish of it, and this just tends to really cling to everything on my face. It just never looks natural, so I am going to pass this along to a friend. Um, the next one that I know right off the bat that I do want to pass on is going to be this one right here. Um, this one is by the brand Unique. This is their Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation in the shade Scarlet. I I don't understand the hype of this. It is is super streaky on my face. I've tried it every way imaginable and no matter what I do it never looks good. It always looks very greasy, very streaky, very patchy. I just I can't get on with it and this is an expensive expensive little bottle so I'm going to see if any of my friends actually use this and pass it along. If not you know where it goes. Another one that I know I'm going to be passing along without question is going to be this one. And yes, I know. I can't believe I'm saying it. This is the Estee Lauder Double Wear, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place makeup. I, I cannot get this to work for me. This is in one W one bone, and although the coverage is fantastic, no matter what I do, I cannot get it to stop clinging to everything. It literally gives me texture when I don't even have texture on my face. I'm gonna pass that one along as well. Okay, so now that I know what I'm definitely getting rid of, um, I like to now go in and take out what I definitely know I'm keeping. So the first thing I'm going to grab for is this, because it is my absolute favorite foundation right now. This is the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation. I love the fact that I can build this up to probably a good medium coverage if I want to, but I can also wear it as a light coverage foundation. It's beautiful, you guys. The finish is very skin-like. It just hides the major things, but it still looks like skin. So I'm going to definitely be keeping this. Another one of my favorite foundations of all time is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. I'm in the shade Porcelain. Um, I've already used up quite a bit of this, actually. I'm kind of getting low. It has a pump, which I love. The packaging's beautiful, but more importantly, the finish of this is perfection. I love it. It doesn't break me out. It's not heavy. I, I cannot be without this, so this is definitely going to stay as well. Another one that I know for sure I'm going to be keeping is my Jouer um, Essential High Cream or High Coverage Cream Foundation. This is the most full coverage foundation I've ever used ever in my life. I could literally wear this for, you know, eight hours and it will not gather in any area of my face. I really, really like it. So I'm going to be holding on to that guy, definitely. Okay, another one that I know I'm going to be holding on to is this. This one you cannot get anymore. It is discontinued. Packaging so gross with fingerprints and stuff. This is the Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream compact in the shade light. They discontinued this and I really really wish they never did. So basically it is a, a CC cream so it is something you can wear all over your face if you match the shade the tone of it but other than that it's a great color corrector. I obviously love this thing to death. I can use this by itself on days I don't want to wear makeup. If I want to cover up a blemish, if I want to hide any you know under eye circles, this is where I reach for. Um, it's it's fantastic and I'm so upset that Clinique uh, discontinued it but I am going to keep it because I do want to finish it up. Okay, so we're just going to kind of start grabbing and going and seeing what we can do here. Um, let's start in the back, so I don't have to keep reaching in front of the camera here. Ugh. This is another product by Unique. This is the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder Foundation, and this one's in the shade Organza. Unlike the other liquid foundation, I actually really like this, you guys. Um, so it's, it's a pressed powder, and you can kind of actually see the rings in it. I'm getting close. I wear this over top of other things. So if I wear like a BB cream or something, I will top it with this. I like the way it plays well with others. It mixes well with my other powders. Um, so yeah, I really, really enjoy this quite a bit, so I am going to be holding on to that one. Let's actually talk about Fenty real quick. I love the packaging. I love the simplicity of it. I love the fact that Rihanna has an incredible shade range of all of her products. I don't like the foundation um, for a couple reasons. Number one, it's very drying on my face. It makes my face look very crepey and wrinkly and just gross. The second thing is that it dries so freaking fast that when you put it on, you have to work in sections of your face, and I really don't like doing that. Plus, I like to use cream products sometimes to contour, and I can't do that with this foundation because it dries almost instantly. So I am going to be passing this along. I really wish it worked for me because I do love Rihanna a lot, but 
this particular product just isn't working out. Okay, another one that I know for sure I'm going to be keeping, I should say another three, these are the Lancome Tainty Doll Makeup Sticks. They're Lancome's, uh, basically they're stick foundations, and I have three of them. They are all different shades, so no, I don't have three of the same color. <laughs> so I have three shades. I have 90, 110, and 140, and that's because I actually use these on different areas of my face. So I use like the lighter one under my eyes, I use the darker one as a contour, kind of, and then I use this one all over the rest of my face, and it literally makes it so I don't even have to contour because the foundation colors are different. So it's kind of cool. Um, I really like the consistency of these. These are going to be a definite keep. This number seven perfect or stay perfect foundation. I love the finish of this. It's a great product in general. Um, the only problem I have is that you can kind of tell this is a little bit not the same color as me. It takes the color from me in a weird way. So although I really love this foundation and it's very affordable, um, I am going to pass this along because it's just not a good shade match. I will say because I'm going to get rid of this, I am going to keep this long calm tainty doll ultra wear foundation. This is literally the high-end version of this, but this one, the long comb, is my perfect shade match. So I don't need to repurchase this right now because I have this. This is a very pricey foundation, I will admit, um, but I really love it. I love the packaging of it. I love the finish of it. I love the shade range of it. I'm going to hold on to that long comb as well. This is the Tarte uh, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation in Fair Light Neutral. This was actually uh, given to me by my friend Angela here on YouTube. I started out really loving this. It is discontinued, so I mean, unless you find it on like Mercari, you're not going to get it. But either way, um, it's really good coverage, but I find that although it looks beautiful when you first apply it, it dries down really funny, and then it, it kind of looks cakey. Although I have a heard rumor that this is the same exact formula that they use in the new Shape Tape foundations, I think the dewy ones. So I feel like if that's the case, if I really need this again in my life, I can always purchase the Shape Tape foundation and see if it, you know, is better or whatever. So I'm going to pass this along as well. So this is the Milani foundation. It comes with a pump, which I find really appreciative. Um, it is very affordable at the drugstore. This just doesn't, again, it doesn't look right on my face. It looks great when I first apply it and then it dries down into a textured mess. But I think it's just because I do have drier skin. Um, so I am going to pass this along. It's literally probably like three pumps in. I did have this in another shade that I used to mix, but I'm not in the mood to mix my foundations anymore, you guys. I don't have time for that. So I need stuff that's going to work for me right off the bat. This is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus Foundation. It is a really, really good foundation, but again, I am just not oily anymore, so this ends up looking too much on my face. So sadly, I am going to pass this one along too and learn from my mistakes. A foundation that I know I'm going to be keeping, this is the Stila Stay All Day Foundation. This one I believe is discontinued as well. Um, they like revamped it or, or changed it or did something to it. Um, you can see in the window that I'm about halfway done. It has one of those tops that you press down and the foundation comes out. I really like the way this looks. It's up my alley, so I'm going to hold on to this and use it up, even though you can't get it anymore. This, however, I'm going to be passing along, I think. Um, I This used to be my Holy Grail foundation. It very well could be still, but I never used it by itself. I always, always used it mixed with the L'Oreal Pro Glow foundation, and I don't own that one right now. So I know for a fact that if I want this, it's very readily available. It's very affordable at the drugstore. They have a great shade range, I'll admit. Um, and for somebody who is oily, I think this is a beautiful foundation. It is great coverage not too matte. It's got like a demi matte finish. So it is a beautiful foundation, but I just, I have so many that I'm keeping right now. I don't need to go buy the Pro Glow just to mix in with this to keep it. So that one's going to go as well. This is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Foundation in the shade uh, Nude L3. I really haven't been able to test this out very much because the color is so yellow compared to me. It was a horrible shade match, but they really don't have a very good range from what I could tell. So I can't even really mix anything in this to make it work because it's just so god awful yellow compared compared to my skin. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to pass this along. I'll see if I can get it in another shade and test it out, but I literally cannot even test it out because it's that dark. This one right here is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. I've only worn this, I think, twice, and I really liked the way it looked on the first time, and then I wasn't so sure on the second time, so I do need to test this out more. Mine's in the shade um, Angel Food, so I think I'm gonna hold on to it and test it out a little bit more and kind of make a decision on my next declutter, if that makes sense. So I'm going to hold on to that one. This is the J-Cat Aqua Assurance Compact Foundation. Tati talks about this all the time and raves about it. I have worn it a couple times. I was going to do a review. That's why I kept it in the box. It's basically a cream to powder foundation with 
amazing coverage, like ridiculous. Look at that. That is ridiculous. I really, really, really like, look at how much coverage just powder has. That's craziness to me. I do actually highly recommend this if you're a powder kind of girl, or if you are looking for a good high coverage powder to go over top of other things, I would definitely check this out. Next we have this BB cream right here by the brand Yada. It's called the Silky Fit Concealer BB. Um, I, this literally does nothing. It has no coverage whatsoever. It is just a moisturizer. And if I wanted it to be just a moisturizer, I probably would have bought a different moisturizer. So I'm going to pass this one along to somebody that doesn't really wear a lot of makeup. I think they would really enjoy that. Okay, we are down to the last four. I will say that I am missing a foundation. Um, I don't know where it is. It's like my one of my favorites. It's the Collab Beauty Radiant Foundation, and I adore it, and I have no clue what I did with it. So we're going to be tearing this room apart to find it. Anyway, let's do the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. This is another one of those foundations that when I got it, I adored it. I loved it so, so much. And then all of a sudden, I just stopped liking it. It's a very liquidy foundation. It does have a pump. Uh, I'm in the shade Aspen. I love the shade range that Bare Minerals has, and I love the fact that this is a more healthy brand. But the problem is it just ends up drying down weird. Again, it sits weird on my face. So I'm going to pass that one along. Last three. Um, this one right here is the uh, Urban Decay All Nighter. As it sits right now, I can't wear this by itself. For one, it's way, way too matte. Um, but for two, it's also a little bit darker. And it also oxidizes on my skin. But I do wear this in the summer because it does help keep me a little less oily when I do get oily in the summer. And when I get a little bit of a tan, it's the perfect shade match so I'm actually going to hold on to this even though it's only a summer foundation. Next I have this e.l.f. BB cream in the shade Buff. I used to use these like religiously. I will say if you're into a BB cream and you like that dewy finish, these are really good. They're super inexpensive at the store. They don't have the greatest shade range. e.l.f. never has the greatest shade range, but I will say the finish of this is beautiful. It is on the dewier side, it, but the coverage of this is insane for a BB cream. I mean this has about a medium coverage. I am going to pass this along because I really want to get through what I have and if I want to repurchase this, I know that it's inexpensive and I can get it very, very easily. And last but not least, we have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. This, I I love this. I really do. Although it's a clay foundation, it's not drying on my face. It doesn't bunch up and get weird. And I really like the fact that because it also is clay, it doesn't clog my pores or break my skin out or anything like that. It's not heavy on my face. I really do like this and I'm going to be holding on to it. I am so shocked at how much I'm getting rid of, you guys. Oh my god, I literally just cut my collection in half. I didn't even think that was possible. So these are the ones I'm going to be passing along. There's 13 here. These are the ones I'm going to be keeping, and there are 14. So literally 50% of my collection. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so different. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Give me a thumbs up if you like these declutters and if you plan on watching any more of them. Um, let me know down below what you guys, like what your favorite, favorite foundation is of all time. If you could only have one, let me know what it would be. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.